Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Try Aurora Nights. Aurora Nights is an indie casual entertainment slash education game, something that's a little bit different from what I normally do. It was published by Vladimir Maslov and developed by Vladimir La Maslov. It was released May 6th of this year, 2006. The platform is Windows and it is available on Steam for 99 cents. Now, I'm doing this partly as a, what you want to call, a let's try to see if it's something I would enjoy, slash review, I guess you would, you would call it. You know, kind of expose you guys to some, you guys to some new games, see if it's something you might be interested in, and uh, recommend it towards the end, I guess. But uh, mainly though, I wanted to do this because it, it looks like it's kind of a calm, simple game. Something I could probably play on a stream, maybe, or just kind of relax and chill out and talk to you guys over. And I'll be honest, uh, I don't know the constellations. I vaguely remember learning some of them in school, but that was a long time ago, and the only two I know is Orion and the Big Dipper. And that's pretty sad. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go ahead and click introduction and see what it's got for me. I have not played this at all. So all I did was make sure it would actually run. So let's see what let's see what we get. Welcome to Aurora Nights. This tutorial will help you to get started with the game. Your central place in Aurora Nights is Starfield. It consists of 36 constellations, which are initially marked by their regions. Your goal is to, is to discover all of them. After, after discovering new constellations, you will get new facts unlocked in the encyclopedia. To get three-star rating on the constellations, you will need to revisit it two more times, this time without getting into the trap of clicking excess stars. Ah. If you're serious about learning to identify constellations, you'll have to put more efforts into your training. This game will help you to remember individual constellations and their placement. For that, you just have to regularly repeat your walkthrough. For learning about constellation placements on the real sky in your area and in the concrete time of year, you should use star atlases. One of them is available here for uh, here for free at www.astronet.rudb blah 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 blah. Good luck on your journey. Well, all right then, to the star field. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Well, let's start here. Cepheus. All right. And what is this? All right, that's the go back option. Got it. Well, it looks like what I have to do is click on stars and uh, kind of go from there. I don't know how many constellations are here, but this one looks pretty obvious. Let's, uh... Oh! Okay, well, obviously those linked together? If there are any astronomer astronomists, astronomers out there, uh, feel free to chime in, yell at me, call me an idiot, because I'm really going off of outdated knowledge. You know, I don't think that's... Hmm. Okay, that was a pretty easy one, but what constellation is it? Oh, that's literally what it is, Cepheus? What is Cepheus? What is the constellation Cepheus? Now I want to know. Named after King Cepheus of Ethiopia, as well as husband of Cassiopeia and father of Andromeda, he was also one of the Argonauts who traveled with Jason in search of the Golden Fleece. Cepheus. Huh. My ancient lore is also very, very, very rudimentary, I'm not gonna lie. Again, it's just long time since I learned about it, and I didn't get to use it on a regular basis. Now, that one was admittedly kind of easy. I mean, like, the stars were very, very, very bright. So it was very easy to, uh... It was very easy to see. Alright. Yeah, this one looks pretty simple. I mean, I can see it here. There's, there's this one. And then this one. That's Cassiopeia. Okay. Hmm. I'm starting to think I may see a bit of a fault here. Only a bit. In that it's a little too easy to find them. 
it's I, I understand that it's uh, I understand what they're trying to do here and what they're trying to do is they're trying to entertain and inform but at the same time they're trying to make it interesting by adding the whole gameplay element of don't click on the wrong stars try to get high star rating and such so it's definitely not something that a gamer might enjoy I think it, it seems so easy it's almost laughable because there's one two then there's the constellation Camleopardus no, no, no. Camleopardalis. The giraffe. Well, it's still interesting. Of course, I don't know how well this would help me in this in the actual night sky. Uh, Alright, let's try this one. This one's a bigger. This is a bigger one. I'm kind of going clockwise order. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one looks familiar. No, oh, that's Draco, the dragon. Okay. I was going to say, that looks like the Big Dipper. Okay, is this the head? I think that's the head. Okay, there's Draco. Okay, oh wait, is it actually showing me like the whole size of everything? Well, this is still kind of neat. I'm just generally curious. Cygnus, the swan. Alright, so we'll just go boom, boom. Yeah, I see it. Cause, yeah, see, there, there's the wings, there's the tail, and then there's the head. Oh, wait, there's another one? Oh, wait, I didn't click the wing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, why is that up there like that, then? That seems a little... I mean, why would there be the extra... I don't know. The Kretze, the lizard. Okay, that's pretty easy. I mean, it doesn't help that they're all dead center. I mean, like, if you space them out, maybe put a couple of constellations together, that might help. Like, you could probably put Cepheus and Lucrecia together, or maybe Cepheus and, and Cassiopeia, and you know, maybe group them together. Unless, unless there's more that I just haven't discovered yet. So, let me reserve judgment until I finish. Andromeda, alright. And then, of course, I'll go back and actually read all the lore associated with them. I just kind of want to, I kind of want to finish first. All right, Perseus. Okay, I know. Do I know who Perseus is? Well, the name rings very, very familiar, so I should definitely know who Perseus is. I'm just trying to understand how people see these shapes. I guess it's because, you know, when it comes to video games, I don't see the skeletal structures, because that's what it reminds me of. And, then, and and I see it, and I'm like, how does that even look even remotely like what you people are, are describing? It just doesn't... Arugia, the charioter. That is a charioter? That doesn't look anything like a chariot to me. Maybe I just don't have the... Maybe I just don't have the... the I don't know. Lynx. The lynx. Alright. I guess that's the spine and the tail, I guess. That's all I can think of. It would be nice if the music kept playing when I jumped into an area. That would be nice. Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Okay, this is the first really big one. Right, now see, I see it. I see it as the bear, because there's the back legs, there's the front legs, the head, and the body. I see that. 
I see Ursa Major. So where's Ursa Minor? Ursa Minor can't be far away. I bet it's over here. Oh, wow. That really takes up a lot of space in the sky. Canes Venatia? Venatia? The hunting dogs. What? 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 Okay, no, no, no. No, no, no. Sometimes it's not the shape. Sometimes it's the story. I clicked on two stars. I didn't click on three stars. Why did it give it to me? I'm confused. Hmm. But when has that ever not been a normal thing for me? Booty, Bootis? The ox, dry, ox driver. I may be pronouncing these wrong, and I do apologize. How is this shaped like an ox driver? Is it... I don't see it. I'd have to sit and stare at it for a while. I, I would have to sit and stare at it for a while, I think. Hercules! Heracles! Okay. I literally just watched this on Netflix, like, yesterday. <laughs> Though for you, you guys, it'll be like two, three days ago. But, uh, yeah, I literally just watched this. Oh, no, 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 I see it, I see it. There's his head, these are his arms, these are his legs, I think. Well... Yeah! These are his legs. His legs are bending. He's in he's in motion. He's running. It's just upside down. Yeah, I see. I see. Well, wait. Now it looks weird. Now it looks weird on here. Lyra, the liar. The an instrument, not a person that lies. Okay, I guess. It's like a stream, strummed instrument, kind of like um, a harp. So we'll go with that one. Alright. Volpecula, the fox. Well, there's only three here. How is that a fox? My knowledge of astronomy is sadly lacking. I really don't see it. I'm sure something is there. I, I just don't see it, and I'm sorry that I don't see it. Pegasus! Okay, this should be our this should be fairly easy. The big ones actually resemble their shape, so I can see those. Alright. Shaping up. I think I see it. I think. I think I, yeah, I mean, like, th this is the spine, and then these, that's the back legs, and that's the front legs, and then this is all supposed to be, like, the wings, like, spread up, about to flap down to take flight. That's what it looks like. I can see that one. I'm just, you know, I'm assuming, I'm thinking out, I'm thinking out loud here on this one. Okay, Pisces the fish. Uh I guess I can see it. Like this is like the head and then these are just supposed to be the fins fanning out behind it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I, I can I can kinda see that one. Pisces that no wait, I just did this one. Alright. Oh, let's not miss that one. Triangulum. The triangle. Mmm, gee. I don't know if I could find this one, guys. That one's gonna be really hard. <laughs> uh I'm I'm enjoying this. Aries, the ram. Alright. How is that a ram? If anything, it looks like half of a, a club split lengthwise. I mean, to me, that's what it looks like. Taurus, the bull. Alright. 
Hmm. Oh wait, there's more. I'm not sure about this one. No, well, I suppose it's kind of abstract. That was the word I was trying to think of. I suppose like these could be the back legs, like it's thrusting forward and there's the front legs and this is like the shoulder and then you would just imagine the head here you know kind of angled down with the horns pointing out I would imagine that's the only way I can see it Orion the hunter okay Orion has more stars on it than I originally thought unless that's his belt and the only reason I remember the belt is from Men in Black. I'm not afraid to admit it. Yeah, these are the three stars on Orion's belt. Yeah, 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 I see it, I see it. There's his legs, or, or maybe he's wearing some kind of, like, um, tunic that goes down to his feet. There's his belt, there's his arm, there's his bow, and then, the, you know, there's his arm holding an arrow. Yeah, I see that. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, I see that one. Gemini the Twins. Now this one, this one should ring true for me because I happen to be a twin. Yeah, it's the symbol, I think. I oh, know I'm I'm thinking of the omega symbol or some U-shaped symbol. Canis Minor, the smaller dog. I almost said Ursa Minor, no that's wrong. Uh Okay, now I got to call bull on that one. How can that one be Casa Mi Canis Mi Minor? How I ask you. It's just it's just two stars. It's just two stars. Cancer, the crab. Uh, no, I don't see this one. I don't see it. I don't see it. I want to see it, but I don't. Leo the lion. The lion hearted. No, I see it. I see it. I see it. There's the head and mane. And then there's the body, and that leads down to the tail. I see it. I see it. Leo Minor, the smaller lion. Alright. Okay. Um Yeah, alright, I'll I'll go with that one. Oh, I missed one all the way in the middle. Shame on me. There's Ursa Minor. Wait, is it, that's the Big Dipper. Or, or are those two, like, really close to each other? I'm surprised that the Dipper hasn't shown up. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing stuff out there. All right. Coma Bernices. Bernices hair. Okay, I don't know who Bernices is. Alright then. You know, all this is making me want to do is actually just go outside and look at the stars. It, it really is. To try and actually find these myself. It, it really does. It does a good job of that. The music is nice and calming. I like it. Alright, Serpentis. The Serpent. Alright, this should be fairly easy. Right, there's the tail. And... Oh, this is an interesting one. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. I get it, I get it. It's a cobra. Because, like, here's the head, and there's the, the hood opening up, and then there's the eyes. I see it. Okay, we're almost done. There's only five left. All right, Corona Borealis, the northern crown. Oh, is that what Borealis means? Crown? I didn't know that. But yeah, I can see it. There's, you know, the part that goes in your head and then the crown. Up there. Oh, wait, one more. Yeah, I see it. I see it. 
All right, and there's this little thin one here. Yeah, here's the last five. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I missed one. Sagitta, the arrow. All right, so that means there's a bow around here somewhere. Yeah, because there's the feather on the back, and then, yeah. I see it. I see it. Oh, no, there's only three left. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Delphinius, the dolphin. Really? Um, yeah, I suppose that could be like the dolphin leaping out of the water, and that's its tail. If it were Echo the dolphin, because he's got the star constellation on his head. That's my thought, anyway. Alright. Aquilius, a foal. A baby horse. I don't see that one. On some of these, I just see formations of two or three stars and a fanciful name. Alright, there's only one left. Aquila the Eagle. Alright, let's see if I can see this one. Oh! There's the wings, and then there's the tail. Or, or, no, 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 it's the other way around. It's like a bird of prey. There's the wings, there's the head. Because that's the beak there. Well, that's that. I found all the I found all the constellations. But apparently I did not get all the stars. Don't know why. And in the encyclopedia we have Andromeda. According to Greek mythology, Andromeda is a princess and a daughter of King Cepheus in Ethiopia and Queen Cassiopeia. Her mother boast mother's boastfulness and pride greatly angered the sea gods, and this resulted in Andromeda being sacrificed to appease them. Andromeda was chained to a rock and would have been left to the sea monster named Cetus if Perseus had not come along and saved her. In the Aries, Aries is the first of the twelve zodiacal constellations, which was discovered during the second century by Greek astronomer Poltemli. I'm probably saying it wrong. In the Greek myth, Aries was the animal whose fleece was sought by Jason and the Argonauts. And then Cassiopeia. In Greek mythology, Cassiopeia was named after the boastful and vain queen. Cassiopeia boasted that her daughter was more beautiful than the Nereids, the nymph daughters of the sea god Nereus, often seen accompanying Poseidon. After failed, after failed Andromeda's sacrifice with an S, Poseidon considered that Cassiopeia should not escape her punishment, so she was placed on the sky upside down for half of the time. Okay, I guess that's her face? I don't know. This is a Russian developer, so, I mean, there's going to be a little mistranslation here and there. In Orion, when the ancient Greeks saw Orion, the shape reminded them of a hunter. They told the story of Orion, a brave but arrogant hunter who was killed by a scorpion. The, god put, the gods put Orion in the sky, where he chases his prey but runs away from Scorpius, the scorpion. Perseus. I still don't see it. Perseus was sent by King Polydectes, saying that wrong, to bring the head of Medusa, the Gorgon, whose visage caused all who gazed upon her to turn to stone as a wedding gift. Perseus slew Medusa in her sleep, and Pegasus, and I do not know that name, Chrysaur, appeared from her body. Pegasus continued to the realm of Cepheus, whose daughter Andromeda was to be sacrificed to Cetus, the sea monster. Perseus rescued the princess Andromeda from Cetius by turning into stone with Medusa's head. He turned Balodecus and his followers to stone and appointed Dictus, the fisherman king. What? Who? Perseus and Andromeda married and had six children. So yeah, they, you, you kind of get the gist of it. I could go through all of these. I really, really could. But uh, we are kind of sort of running short on time. Okay, I, at the very least, hang on. I, I want to find out, at the very least, can I scroll down? Up, down. I want to find out about the two dogs. At the very least, I want to find out about the two dogs. Because I, I am too curious to let that one go. Where is it? The hunting dogs? Gee, it, where is it? 
am I just am I, am I being stupid? I think I'm being stupid. Oh, I think I think yeah, here it is. No, the smaller dog. Greek mythology, Candace Major is the most commonly identified one as the dogs following Orion. Oh wait. Is it because hang on. There's Candace Ma because it's following behind Orion. That's why. Oh, there it is. Canis, the, the, this one. Okay, backtrack, backtrack. I want to find that one. And. Canis, Canis, Canis. Uh, one more. Where is it? There it is. Canis, Vinit. Uh, are hunting dogs of the Boots of Boots the Herdsman. The northerly dog is named Astrion, the southerly Chara. Constellation was introduced by Polish astronomer Johannes Hoivelike. Oh. Oh. Well, all right then, everyone. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Aurora Nights. <sighs> to give it a fair judgment, I'm definitely going to say I did enjoy it. It did have a bit of a puzzle-like aspect to it because I didn't in I didn't know the constellations off the top of my head. So I actually had a pretty all right time trying to piece together how is this supposed to be shaped like this. In that, I did enjoy it. For those that actually know the star fields, though. I would say avoid it because you already know and there's only 35 constellations listed and there are so many more definitely a good gateway if you want to learn more about the constellations in the sky this is a definitely a good starting off point and then from there leaping out and learning more about the various constellations all across the world that we can see so for 99 cents, I'd say this was definitely, definitely an okay buy. I, I would, I would recommend it if you, to, to, yeah, I, I, I would say yes, I would recommend it. But, um, yeah, yeah, kind of iffy, but, but for the most part, I would say give it a shot. Just don't expect to get like a huge replay value out of it because it's it's a little easy so far. Unless there's more options I haven't explored, but for the most part, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna say a hesitant yes, and uh, Vladimir, if you're watching, I like what you got going. I would love to see more constellations, and uh, I I would like to I would like to be just a tiny bit more challenging. Like maybe not make the stars you're supposed to click why that obvious so yeah thank you everyone for watching i've been alexander frost and i will see you on the next video